Hi, it's Mike Thornton from Pro Tools Expert, and today I'm going to take you around the new Audio Motors version 2 plugin from Audio Gaming. And the name may give you a bit of a clue as to what it does. It's about being able to manipulate audio recordings of engine sounds, motor sounds, but have so much more control over them. So let me just give you a taste of that. I'm going to load in one of the stock files. And you can see here that uh, the spectrogram is displaying it and we can play that file. So best to use a file like that where the engine is slowly accelerating or decelerating rather than revving it. Uh, it'll produce a much, much better control because what effectively Audio Motors is doing is taking segments of this sound so we can completely reorder the way it sounds. So I'm going to go into the first of the three modes called RPM. So it's simply controlling the revs of our engine. So you can hear now it's at idle. I'm not doing anything. It's effectively looping the idle speed. It's finding the nearest speed on the audio sample and looping it around. So as I just increase the engine revs but of course what it means is that if we've got a complex car chase sequence we can sample the engine sound and then use audio motors to manipulate the engine speed and the sound to match the pictures. We've no longer got to cut up and time stretch and compress audio to make it fit the particular sequence that has been shot. So that's one way we can control it, just straight revs. The next way we can do it is this mode called drive. And then we've effectively got a setup where we can control it just as you would on a car. You have an accelerator, so if we start, I push my foot on the accelerator and the car speeds up. And as I take my foot off it, initially it will just stay at that engine revs, take my foot off more, and the car slows down. And there are different modes. So that's City, if I go to Formula One, it's a lot more responsive, so speeds up much more quickly. And you can hear the tone of the sound changing as well. So it's not just sampling and looping segments of the original sample, it's also changing the sound of it. So it's got a lot more attack when I'm accelerating and just a little bit more muffled as I'm taking my foot off the accelerator. We've also got this rev mode, which is much more like it would be if you were waiting at the traffic lights for it to go green and you're revving your engine. So we've got that mode. We've got the RPM mode so we can control the engine directly off the revs. So we can speed up, change gear. And then there's this scratch mode, which in essence will take segments of the sample. So in some respects it's more crude, but it can also be really useful. So it will simply loop that section. So you can see that there are a number of options. We've also got this section here where we can transpose the sound. So I just start the engine again. And we go into RPM mode. Much more like a, a model engine. So you've got all sorts of options 
for modifying the sound. We can also adjust it for different numbers of cylinders, for different revs. So two stroke would be one fire per revolution. So we've got lots of options for tweaking the sound. There are a number of samples that come with audio motors for different cars. So they really get you going. So we could have a, a two stroke Suzuki and we can play that. We've even got a Formula One car. And you can see here that there are different mic positions or we can go for one of the mixed ones. Again, uh, all sorts of different sounds, or you can create your own sounds and use those. So here's a sound that I pulled from a sound effects recording for a truck. And you can hear that occasionally it's just skipping and missing bits of it. So what we can do is just effectively trim off the bottom and the top so that we've got a smaller section to go at. So we can idle and then and then I did another one for the VW Beetle. Now you can see here that the actual sound starts, speeds up, and then slows down again. So that speed up is quite fast. So what I can do again is to use these trim controls and just restrict audio motors to the effectively deceleration, the rev as the engine speed comes down, and just use that section. So here we have our idling. very distinctive VW Beetle that is too. So you can see that with a little bit of careful manipulation and management you can take your own samples and feed those into audio motors. And on those samples uh, let me just play you a clip here and see what you think. Because what it's doing is looking for pitch and repetition. And so if you carefully select your sounds for audio motors, you can use it for all sorts of innovative sound design opportunities, not just engines. But I just want to finish with showing you an example of how you can use two instances of the plugin, one controlling the exterior sound of a car and the second controlling the interior sound. And the fact that we can use automation to control these controls, we can use the same automation data to control both plugins and we can synchronize the sounds and then as we cut to the interior, they match perfectly. So I hope that's given you an insight of some of the things that you can do with audio motors. It is one of these plugins that you need to spend some time with so you can get the maximum out of it. I'll see you again soon.